Hey everybody, I am Surbhi and you are watching Key Differences. In today's video, we are going to talk about the differences between capital expenditure and revenue expenditure. So friends, without further ado, let's get started. Revenue expenditure Expenditure incurred in an accounting year to maintain the productivity or profit earning capacity or say working capacity of the business or undertake operating activities in the normal course of business is regarded as revenue expenditure. So here we have four criterions on the basis of which we can identify that whether an expenditure is a revenue expenditure or not. So these are recurring nature. Revenue expenditure occurs frequently on a regular basis during the course of business. Further, any expenditure incurred to maintain the revenue earning capacity of the business is regarded as revenue expenditure. So here you have to understand that revenue expenditure are incurred to maintain the revenue earning capacity and not increasing the revenue earning capacity or working capacity of the business. Third, any expenditure whose benefit expires within an accounting period is called revenue expenditure. This means that either full benefits are received or the benefits are fully consumed during an accounting period. Last criterion is nature of business. We are going to understand this with an example because it is extremely important. Suppose a firm deals in trucks. So purchase of a truck or a fleet of trucks will be regarded as a revenue expenditure and not a capital expenditure. This is because the expenditure is made to maintain the revenue earning capacity of the business as well as the expenditure is done in the normal course of business. Similarly, if a company is in the business of buying and selling laptops, then buying a laptop will be a revenue expenditure for it. Some common examples of revenue expenditure are wages and salary, rent, depreciation on fixed asset, interest on loan for business, cost of goods purchased for resale, etc. Moving on to capital expenditure. Capital expenditure refers to an expenditure that the firm incurs with the objective of obtaining long-term advantages for business. So we can say that capital expenditure involves outflow of funds from the business to buy or bring into existence a fixed asset or increase its utility in the form of extension, increase its profit earning capacity, afford long term advantages of business, acquire the right to carry on business. Therefore, we come up with six basic criterions on the basis of which we can identify whether an expenditure is a capital expenditure or not. So we are going to discuss each of them one by one. Acquisition of fixed asset. The expenditure incurred should be for acquisition of fixed asset or for extending an asset. That is, it should be incurred to increase the value of the asset. Here one must note that the asset acquired through these expenditure is not for sale. Come let us understand this with an example. Suppose a company that deals in furniture buys a truck for rupees 20 lakhs. This truck is a fixed asset for the firm which is not purchased for the purpose of resale. So the amount spent on buying such an asset will be a capital expenditure. Coming back to our topic of discussion that is criterions. Next is long term benefits. The benefits derived from such an expenditure must be of an enduring nature. In short benefits must be spread over a number of accounting year. Hence it is considered as an asset and so they are debited to fixed asset account and are shown in the balance sheet. Next, increase in earning capacity. Expenditure must help in increasing the earning capacity or reducing the operating expenses of the business organization. Non-recurring nature, the expenditure should not occur on a frequent or regular basis. Nature of expense, the expenditure should be directly related to the acquisition, installation or erection of the fixed asset. It may also cover those expenditure incurred in connection to substitution of new asset for an old or existing one. Pre-incorporation expenditure. Expenditure incurred prior to the incorporation of the company are also called as capital expenditure. This may include expenditure incurred for establishing business such as cost of obtaining a license to start business, cost of patent, preliminary expenses, purchase of goodwill etc. But here one must keep in mind that only initial expenditure is capital expenditure while business license renewal fee is a revenue expenditure as it is recurring in nature. Some common examples of capital expenditure are 
money spent on purchase of land and building plant and machinery furniture vehicles etc overhauling of second hand machinery repairs or reconditioning of fixed asset which increases the profit earning capacity and so on coming to the difference between revenue expenditure and capital expenditure revenue expenditure are the expenditure incurred during the course of normal business operations that is production of goods or rendering of services which facilitate in revenue generation it is also known as operating expenses on the other hand capital expenditure are the expenditure incurred to acquire assets or improving the productive capacity of the existing ones the asset is expected to stay in business for long time to use it for more than one financial year in other words we could say that when a company uses its funds to purchase improve extend or upgrade its long term asset with the aim of increasing their working capacity it is a capital expenditure next when it comes to benefits revenue expenditure provides benefit in the same financial year in which they are incurred so its benefit do not extend for more than one accounting period as against capital expenditure generates benefits that last for long term and so it is expected to yield revenue for more than one accounting period next impact on revenue generation as i said earlier revenue expenditure helps in maintaining the revenue earning capacity of the business so it generates revenue for the current period only but capital expenditure is expected to generate revenue not just for the current period but for subsequent years also we can understand this with an example suppose a firm replaces an old machine having productive capacity of 50000 units per month with a new machine having productive capacity of 1 lakh units per month while consuming the same labor hours and material so the amount spent on buying such a machine is a capital expenditure for the firm because it is going to generate revenue not just for the current period but also for the years yet to come next nature of business for a trader dealing in a certain asset let's say furniture purchase of that asset that is furniture is a revenue expenditure but for any other businessman who is not dealing in that particular asset like in our example furniture purchase of furniture would be treated as a capital expenditure next frequency If an expenditure incurs multiple times in an accounting year it will be regarded as a revenue expenditure on the other hand capital expenditure is a one time outlay of funds so it is non recurring in nature next purpose while revenue expenditure aims at maintaining the productive capacity of the firm capital expenditure aims to improve the productive capacity of the firm next while the amount of revenue expenditure is transferred to the profit and loss account in the year of spending on the other hand the amount of capital expenditure is transferred to profit and loss account of the year in which benefits are utilized next while the revenue expenditure is debited to expense account capital expenditure is debited to asset account nature of account because revenue expenditure is debited to an expense account it is a nominal account whereas because capital expenditure is debited to an asset account it is a real account now you guys must be wondering about the accounting treatment of the two types of expenditure so revenue expenditure is shown on the debit side of the trading and profit and loss account but capital expenditure is shown in the asset side of the balance sheet cost while revenue expenditure is an expired cost because it is recognized as an expense capital expenditure is an unexpired cost because the amount is not fully charged as an expense so friends this brings me to the end of this lesson i hope the concept has been clear now however if you want to study the topic further in detail you can visit our official website that is keyreferences.com here you can find a detailed comparison of capital expenditure and revenue expenditure along with their definitions and example links are also provided in the description box below i hope you like this video and if you did please do give it a thumbs up and share it with other people also if you are new to this channel and want to get more such useful videos consider subscribing this channel and also hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button so that you are notified every time whenever a new video is uploaded on this channel and if you have any queries or feedback for me feel free to leave in the comment section below until next time this is me surbi signing off